Look at this rectangle. Can you find its area? Well, that is pretty simple. Length into breadth, right? Now, what about this square? Its area is side into side. That is simple as well. But what about this quadrilateral? Now, I cannot say that this is a rectangle, a square, a parallelogram, or a trapezium. So, what do I do in this case? Do you know the area of a triangle? Yes, half into base into height. And we will apply the area of a triangle in order to calculate the area of this quadrilateral. So, what do we do? We don't see any triangles here. Let me draw diagonal BD there. We now have with us two triangles. Triangle ABD and triangle BCD. And the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. Look at the figure. That is nothing but the area of triangle ABD plus the area of triangle BCD, right? Now, in order to calculate the areas of these two triangles, what do we need? We need a base and we need the corresponding altitude. So, let's keep the base as BD, the diagonal. And let us drop two perpendiculars from A and C there. Let's call this H1 and let's call this H2. So, look at triangle ABD. The base, that is BD. The corresponding altitude, that is H1. So, the area of triangle ABD. That is half into BD into H1. Let me call BD as only D. So the area becomes half into D into H1. Look at triangle BCD. The base, that is BD. The height, that is H2. So what is the area of triangle BCD? Half into D into H2. And let's combine these two and get the area of the quadrilateral. So that becomes half into D into H1 plus half into D into H2. Let's take half into D common there. So the area of the quadrilateral ABCD, that is half into D into H1 plus H2. Here the important point to notice that you can take any diagonal, okay? And you need to draw perpendiculars from the opposite vertices onto this diagonal. And this will give you the values of H1 and H2. In fact, you can verify this by using a rectangle or a square or a trapezium. 